Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Smeets and I teach AP Environmental Science at Grand River Prep. This is just a short video on the top three reasons to still be excited about taking APES at GRP this year, even though we will be doing a lot of distance learning. So if you've already signed up for the course, then it's three reasons to be excited about signing up. And if you haven't signed up yet, then it's three reasons that you may want to consider as we go into this school year. So I'll touch on each of the three reasons briefly before going into a little more depth with each. So the number one reason to take APES at GRP this school year is to learn how to think like a mountain. This is kind of a mantra we use throughout the year, and it really just represents changing the way you look at the world. The second reason to take APES at GRP this year is that we already have a flipped classroom. So this course is sort of built for virtual instruction. That means that your homework is primarily flipped video notes on YouTube. I know students spend a lot of time on YouTube to begin with. And so I think that doing your homework there is kind of a natural transition. And the third reason to take APES at GRP this year is that we have two very cool projects that are going to allow students to take a look at social justice and environmental justice issues and do something in their community to bring about real change. So I'll talk about each of these three reasons in a little bit more depth here as we go on. So again, that first reason to consider taking APES at GRP this school year or to be excited about it if you already are is to learn how to think like a mountain. So this is a phrase that we will learn about on day one of APES, and it will serve kind of as our mantra throughout the year. That means our guiding philosophy. Thinking like a mountain really means changing the way that you look at the world around you. It means thinking about weather patterns and climate. It means thinking about energy usage and food shortages around the world. And so it really reshapes the way that you think about the world. It also means that we need to understand the consequences that human activities have on the earth. Once we start to understand the consequences, we can learn how to live in a way that's more sustainable and has less of an impact on the earth. And then finally, we learn how to link environmental issues to social issues. So we are at a time of sort of unique unrest in America when it comes to racial inequality. And I really want to make that a theme and tie it into environmental science this year, because a lot of people overlook how tightly linked environmental justice and social justice are. And so the projects that we'll be doing this school year will directly relate to social justice. And I'll be talking about those more at the end of the video. So reason number two to take APES at GRP this school year is that your homework is YouTube. So what do I mean by that? Basically, we already have a flipped classroom in APES. Last year, rather than lecturing to deliver all of the instruction in the course, I created short eight to 10 minute notes videos that students watch each night for homework. It might sound like a lot to begin with, but once you get the hang of it, they go pretty quickly. And what that does is allows you to work at your own pace. So three to four times a week, you'll have an eight to 10 minute video. But the nice thing about the video is that it's interactive. So it will pause, it will ask questions to make sure you're understanding the video. And you can also rewind and rewatch it. So it really allows you to work at your own pace, which I think is incredibly important in this virtual setting that we'll likely be in. The other benefit that this has is if COVID allows, now currently we are planning to have students in the building one day a week. What that does is allows us to meet in person and practice the challenging skills like writing or like answering multiple choice questions rather than me doing direct instruction or lecturing when you're here in person. So that's my favorite part about the flipped classroom is since you do a lot of the learning at home at your own pace, then when we come together, we can discuss we can see what questions you have. We can practice writing. I like to think of it as doing the easy stuff on your own and doing the hard stuff together. And even if we're not in person very much this year, that will still look like virtual Zoom meetings where we are in person, where we are discussing questions you have, discussing issues as a class to try to find out how are there links between what we're learning and social justice issues that we want to try to address with our projects at the end of the year. And the third reason to take APES at GRP this school year is we have two very exciting, very unique project opportunities this year. So the first one is called Project Peace by Youth. And this is a partnership with the United States EPA, that's the Environmental Protection Agency, then Jane Goodall's Roots and Shoots program, as well as Enviro Atlas, which is a tool supported by the EPA. So this is a really incredible project that's gonna put us in touch with the EPA and great teachers all over the Illinois, Wisconsin, Midwest area who are doing similar projects. Now, what this project enables us to do is use data from the EPA to try to highlight social injustices in our community. 
Now, this could look like things such as poverty, lack of access to parks, lack of access to adequate food sources. These could be healthy food sources like farmers markets or grocery stores and allows us to use data to support solutions and then ultimately bring about real change in our communities. So at the end of the year, we'll be completing a service project as a class to try to actually address the issue that we identify as being the biggest concern for our community. The second project that we'll be participating in this year is gonna allow us to get out into local streams in our watershed, specifically Buck Creek, and monitor the water quality so that we can report those data out to Elgro, which is an organization that monitors water quality in the Grand River watershed. And this program is supported with grant money by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And so this is a really neat project that again, allows us to team up with real field scientists who are taking care of the water quality in our community. So both of these projects will give you experience working with data, they'll give you experience working as a community activist at a time when I think America needs our youth to be community activists more than ever. So I am super excited about these projects coming up this year. And there's one that actually is not even on the slide because it came up super, super recently and I have a phone call tomorrow to potentially discuss getting a vegetable garden growing at Grand River. So that would be another opportunity for you to have real world experience working on issues that promote sustainability in our communities and specifically right at Grand River. So I am just beyond excited about all of these opportunities this year to really take AP Environmental Science out into the real world and give you guys tangible experience with things like data and community activism. So if you are interested in taking AP Environmental Science at GRP this year and you are not currently signed up, these are three different ways that you can get a hold of me to try to make that change to your schedule or just to learn more about it if you think you may be interested. And so you can email me, my email is right there. Uh, you'll also be getting an email from me if you're someone who I think would be interested in this course. Then you can also text at Smeeds Apes to the number 81010. This will sign you up for the Apes Remind and I can communicate with you that way. And then finally, uh, if you're on YouTube and you wanna just comment on the video right below, you're welcome to do that as well. Uh, I'll answer your comments there and we can talk about how to make that change your schedule if you're interested in it. Thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you this fall.